back to Humble Homemaking. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I talk about all things homemaking, parenting, faith, and femininity. So if that's your thing, then please hit the subscribe button down below. So this is a video request that I wanted to do. I was asked to do a video on why I am a homemaker. I came up with a bunch of reasons of why I am a homemaker and I am going to go over all of those with you today because homemaking is a very important job. So, I am a homemaker, obviously, hence the name. And I don't believe all women should be homemakers. I don't believe that all women need to be mothers. I don't believe that all women need to stay home. But I do believe that a lot more women should stay home and should be homemakers, but definitely not all women, because all women just aren't equipped for that. There are lots of positions in jobs that women excel at and women can nurture the world through their jobs such as daycare leaders and teachers and nurses and doctors. So some women definitely do belong in the workplace but I don't believe that all women belong in the workplace just like I don't believe that all women belong in the home. And just like I believe that all women don't need to be mothers, but I do believe that more women do, if that makes any sense. I am a homemaker because God calls me to do this. I, And by this, I mean that he calls on me to stay home with my family, nurture my family in my home, take care of my son, be with him all the time, and I didn't fully embrace this role as a homemaker until I realized that this was God's calling for me. Since the beginning of my husband and I's relationship, he never forced me to go out and get a job. He never forced me to work. And we had financial stability so that I was able to do that. I was able to stay home. I was able to take care of things around the home. But I didn't fully embrace it until my son was born and until God revealed that calling to me. I know I just got done saying that I didn't work and I have been a homemaker, but there were times where I would go to work with my husband and I would get home and just not have the energy to do anything around the house or I would complain about some things or we would get carry out a lot or we would get those frozen pizzas from the frozen aisle and we would just cook those because I was too tired to cook. Whereas now I'm home all day, I'm able to keep the house clean. I am able to prep dinner for him. I am able to take care of our son and give him full 100% attention that he needs. In the beginning of our relationship, I just knew that I wanted to take care of him. I knew that I wanted to cook for him and clean for him and take care of him. I don't know if you have ever heard the saying, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach and that is so true. It's just nice to be able to be home all day and clean the house and then be able to experiment with different recipes and different meals and maybe put a twist on his favorite meal to see if he might like it. And so I really enjoy doing that for him. I really enjoy seeing the smile on his face when I bake him cookies and see the smile on his face when he comes home and I am making him something for dinner, which I really need to start soon. I've loved doing all of these things since the beginning of our relationship. I wanted to impress this man, and in impressing this man, it wasn't just through my body and my looks, it was what I was doing for him, how I was serving him. I wanted to take care of him from the beginning. I knew that in the beginning of our relationship, I was in the relationship, not just for dating, but to potentially get married. I wanted to impress this man with my womanly skills since the day I met him. I love cooking for him and baking for him and cleaning for him and those are all things that I love doing for him that even when my beauty fades, he will still appreciate that and value that. And he's already told me that when we are 86 years old together, he will still love me just the same as he does in my age I am now. Hello! And he shows me that he is grateful by reciprocating the willingness to go to work, work hard, and make money to take care of things so that I am able to stay home, take care of the home, and take care of our son. Hi Sadie! It is so important for me to take care of my husband. His job is to go to work and make the money and my job is to stay home tend to our home, be wise with our spending, and take care of our son. And this traditional lifestyle of him going to work, making the money, and me staying home to take care of the home and our child and future children is what works for us, so please be nice. 
it is so important for me to be able to stay home with my son and our future children and take care of them. I am able to focus on my son's development and give him a lot of one-on-one -on -one time that he might not be receiving in a daycare setting. I do plan to homeschool him and our future children. So being a homemaker isn't something I'm giving up when he reaches the age to start school. So being able to focus on my son, give him the attention he needs, make sure he's eating properly during the day, make sure he's getting changed regularly. I am happier and less stressed as a homemaker. I don't have to get up and be at a certain place at a certain time. I do have to get up and start my day as a homemaker, but I'm talking about going to work because I have to. And I've been there, I've been there where I, I have to go to work before meeting my husband. I have to go to work, I have to have a job, I have to make money. I, I've been there so I know the feeling and I was stressed and I was tired. Even though some days I loved my job, most days it was stressful. So being a homemaker really decreases that stress and anxiety. I don't mind cooking and cleaning for my son and my husband. I like them to eat good. I like for them to eat things that aren't from a box, that aren't frozen, that aren't carry out. Every now and then we do eat carry out and we do get frozen pizzas and throw them in the oven but it's not a regular thing so when we do have it it's like a nice little treat and nice little things that I can appreciate a little bit more instead of when we were doing it all the time I didn't really appreciate going out to eat I didn't really appreciate getting carry out I didn't really appreciate the frozen pizza because it was just a regular thing to us me being a homemaker saves us so much money we don't have to pay for extra gas both of our cars are paid off so we are not just running up mileage on them all the time and having to put gas in them all the time he's going to work and I don't have to worry about putting gas in the tank to pay to go to work. We also don't have to pay for a daycare. The price of a good daycare is expensive. I'm not going to leave my son with just anybody, so if I had to go to work to put my son in a daycare, I would want him to be in a good daycare. And I would be going to work to make money to pay for putting him in a good daycare and still not have that much money to take home at the end of the day, depending on what I was doing. Not having to pay for a daycare is extra money for us because I am the daycare. Also, we are able to save up for our future. This home that we are currently living in is not our permanent home. It is not our dream home like I've mentioned before. So we are able to save up the money that we are not spending on extra gas and daycare expenses. And we are able to put that aside to save for our future home and for our future life that we will soon be taking the next step in. Because we are not going out to eat all the time or getting carry out or eating frozen meals, we are saving so much money from that. Those little things add up. Oh, oh it's just a $5 meal from McDonald's. It's no big deal. But, but if you're doing that multiple times a week, that adds up. I sat down one day and did the math of how much money we had been wasting away from going out to eat all the time, getting carry out, and eating frozen meals. and. It's expensive. It is an expensive lifestyle to live like that. And then of course I also save money. I've mentioned this in a previous video, but be oh, that's a cool thing. He brought me a flashcard. I am also pretty frugal and I know some people are like, well, you know, you have to be frugal because you're a homemaker. No, I choose to be frugal. This is not luck. This is not by force. This is me choosing this lifestyle. We can afford to go and buy box diapers, but I'd rather put them in cloth diapers. We can afford to throw clothes away that get holes in them, but I choose to sew them instead. I choose this lifestyle because all of those little things add up and I don't really care so much about the material things as much as I do my family's future. And our biggest priority right now is to get us into a bigger home with more space and more land so that we are able to thrive more than we are now. So me being a homemaker helps us out with being able to do all of those things, helps us out with so much. To sum it up, I love being a homemaker. I love the traditional gender roles of him going to work and me being able to stay home. I enjoy being able to teach my son things and have one-on-one -on -one time with him and be able to be a mom to him and take care of him and not depend on somebody else to raise my son, not depend on daycare to raise my son. All of those things are important to me and this is why I am a homemaker. So to the wonderful woman that requested that I make this video, thank you. I do love talking about why I am a homemaker because it is so important to me and I do believe that more women should do it. Not all women should do it, but more women should definitely be homemakers if given the opportunity. You might have to sacrifice a couple of things. You might not be able to have a 
work, social life all the time. Being able to have my son with me all the time, being able to cook for my husband all the time and clean and take care of him and show him that he is appreciated and valued outweighs work social settings. I can be social with people in my town. I can be social online. I don't have to go to work to be social. But also, I can make a little bit of money as a homemaker still, as long as whatever I'm doing to make money at home is not getting in the way of my priorities or of my home and my husband and my son, then I don't find anything wrong with making a little bit of extra money on the side to be able to pay for things every now and then or maybe to be able to purchase a carry out dinner as a thank you to my husband for working so hard. Anyways, that whole that topic is a whole video in and of itself. So if you do want that video of homemakers making money on the side, let me know because I will gladly do that video. Anyways, I am off to go and start dinner. Before my husband gets home, I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.